Ah, yes, structures, the one variable to rule them all. Imagine taking tons of variables and putting them all into one and then using them. Wait, you know what? I'm tired of talking about it. Let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Okay, so to start out with, we're going to go to our content drawer. We're going to go to our third person blueprint. And again, this is a 5.4 third person project. And we're going to right click right here and we're going to select, uh, let's see, blueprint. So we're going to select our blueprint and we're going to select structure. Now we're going to name this S underscore character info. And we're going to do a control shift S to save. Now let's go ahead and double click and open this up. Drag this up here. And what we want to do is we're going to add about, let's see, about, I want to say it's five different variables inside of a structure. Now a structure is just basically a variable that holds a bunch of variables. Think of it as the one variable that rules them all. So let's go ahead and add our our different variables here. We add four. And for the first variable, we're just going to start by naming everything first. So we're going to call this one, uh, we're going to say name. Next one, we're going to double click, make sure that's highlighted. We're going to do age. And then we're going to do ID. And then we're going to do uh, sex. Actually, we can call it, yeah, I guess we can call it sex, which is gender, same thing. And then finally, we're going to do color. Now, for the name, we're going to use the name variable. For the age, we're going to use an integer variable because we're not doing a float because that's a decimal value. This is just a whole number. For the ID, we're going to use a string because we're going to use some characters in there. This is going to be the ID of the of the character. And then for uh, the uh, the actual the sex, we're going to be switching between the Manny and uh, the, we're going to use the skeletal mesh. And we're going to set it to the skeletal mesh object reference. Then for the final, for the color, we're going to set it to the material and the material object reference. We're going to hit save. Now we're all set with this. We can go ahead and we can close this out, okay? Okay. Now that we're in our third person character, what we want to do is we want to add a variable. We're going to add, we're going to call this character info. And we want to use our structure. So type in S and then character info. We want to, we want to set this here and do a compile and save. Now, before we get too wrapped up in this, let's go ahead and start by doing our one key. And this is what we're going to use to uh, switch between our two actors, okay? So we, we, I, while we're here, we can also do the flip-flop. Now, down here, we're going to do a two key. And this is going to be our reset logic, okay? And I'm going to do this first because it's simple and quick and easy to do. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our mesh, drag it right here. And then we're going to drag off of it and we're going to set skeletal mesh asset. We're going to drag off of here again and we're going to set material. And while that's highlighted, we're just going to do a control D to activate that. And we're going to hook these up like so. Okay. Now, something very important. You got to make sure you target this one as well. So make sure both these targets are set. And then what we want to do is we want to populate this with the new mesh. So we're going to just go ahead and do a First, we're going to do a compile and save. We're going to select our mesh. And we're going to use everything that's here. Okay. So for the skeletal mesh, we're just going to hit this little browse button that's going to give us our default skeletal mesh. And we're going to use this little arrow here to populate it. 
we're going to do the same thing with the materials. So we got element zero, and then this one, we're going to change it to one. Okay. Compile, save. And we want to use these two right here. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit the, the, the actual browse button. While that's highlighted, we're going to hit the arrow here. And we're going to do it again for this one. So we're going to select the browse button here, and it's here. And we're going to set that. Okay, sorry about the interrupt. Since we've uh, completed our reset logic and got the basic setups going, now I'm just trying to show you what's gonna be happening later in the video. And it's gonna look a little something like this. Okay, if you are enjoying the content, subscribe. If you like the video, then like the video. All right, back to the video. What we're gonna do right here is, we're going to basically hold down the Alt key and we're going to drag this custom info right here and set it right here, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna right click right here and we're gonna split this pin structure here, okay? And then right here, while we're in here, we're going to drag off of here and we're going to break the, the character info so we can we can get our variables from this right here. We're gonna set our variables here and get our rest of the stuff here. Now, right here, we're gonna do a print string. And then for this print string, what we wanna do is, let's see, we're gonna make sure this says 10 seconds. That's how long I want it to stay up. And we can, we can connect it up. And then um, I think for this default one here, because it's gonna, this is gonna basically be the name string. Um, we're going to set this to, um, I guess we can set it to maybe a white color. Or actually, yeah, we'll set it to white for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna minimize this because this is gonna be our default, and we're just gonna do a uh, Control D for duplicate, and we're gonna add that. And then what we want to do is we want to highlight both of these and then do a control D again. And then we're going to need one more. So we just highlight one of them and then do a control D again. Okay. Now to keep everything simple, all we're going to do is let's see, we're going to drag this over a little bit. We're just going to connect everything up. So this first one's going to be our name, and it's going to instantly convert. Then we're going to set up the, the integer here. It's going to convert. And then for the ID, we're going to also drag that onto there as well. OK, and then for this next part here, what we want to do is we want to grab our skeletal mesh like we did in our reset logic, and we're going to set it here. And we're going to drag off of here, and we're going to get the same things as before. So skeletal. We're going to, we're going to set our skeletal mesh asset. And then we're also going to set material. And we're going to duplicate that. And then we'll make sure that we add the target. Make sure we hook this up as well. Okay, so for this right here, we're just gonna, for this last part here, we're just gonna put mail, and then we're gonna say black, because we're gonna just make the character uh, completely jet black from the default starter material, okay? Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and neaten this up a bit. So we're going to double click here, make a reroute node here, double click here, make a reroute node right here. Uh, 
Oh, and then what we're going to do is, okay, and actually, let's see, I'm going to clean this up a bit. Let me see, we can lower this down here. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to change this. Uh, I'm going to draw off of here, and I'm going to do the set uh, skeletal mesh asset here. And we obviously, we don't need this right here. We can just go ahead and add this here. And that way, the new mesh will be whatever we switch here, okay? Hook this up. And we're just going to target the mesh, like so. All right? Now, what we need to do is we're going to zoom out a little bit. And we're going to highlight all this right here. And then all we're going to do is duplicate, so Control D. And that's going to give us another set of the exact same thing that we have. We're going to scroll in. Oh, and then I almost forgot. So make sure we drag off the color. And we're going to set the element here. Let's see. Yes, right here. And then what we can do is, let's see, we can um, see I made a little mistake here. Whenever you duplicate something, you duplicate your mistake. So make sure we change this material right here to one. Change this one, the index here, to one as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just double click right here, lower this down to right here. And then we can drag off of here and add this here as well. Okay. And just make sure we neaten that up. And we're going to do the exact same thing for what's here. So let's grab the color, set it here, create a reroute node, drag this down right here, then drag this one to right here. Double click. Make it nice and neat. So that w just this is just to help us for troubleshooting. That's why you want to keep your code somewhat neat. Now we want to make sure that we set up the this one up here and then also this one down here. Now. To, we're going to have to populate this so our character can change. So we're going to start with here by going John Doe. And we're going to say John Doe is 25. We're going to say that, let's see, we're going we're gonna to use the, the male uh, Quinn for this one because it's uh, John Doe. So we're going to grab our, our mesh here. And we're going to go to the meshes and browse to it. And then we can see here, we've got simple Manny. And then we can just add that for the sex. Now you could do the same thing here, but if you wanted to just hit the down arrow, you can actually type in simple and that'll give you like the simple Quint. So that'll be the female version down here. And we're just gonna call her Jane Doe, okay? And then for, let's see her age, we're going to set that at, let's say uh, 22. Now, for the, the actual, uh, I'm sorry, so right here, I'm going to change this age right here to 25. And then for the character info, we're just going to go one, two, three, and then I'm just going to do a minus sign, four, five, six, minus sign, you know, seven, eight, nine. Same thing with Jane Doe. I'm just going to do it in reverse. I'm just going to go nine, eight, seven, minus sign. And then I guess uh, six five four minus sign three two one, okay. And then let's do a compile and save. Now for the character's color for the male, I'm just going to use, I guess it's called background. Yeah, I'm going to use the background material, which is this like kind of like semi glossed black. And then for the female, I'm going to use, um, I forgot what's it called. I think it's basic template. Let me see. Basic template. 
Yeah, I'm going to use the basic template material, which is kind of like a little shiny uh, uh, template material here. And I'm going to do a compile and a save. Okay, and now I want to go back to our print strings because we're going to customize them a little bit. Now right here, for the female, we're just going to make it female. And then for the color, because we're using a white color, we're just going to use white. Okay. Do a compile and a save. Now, for the male, we're going to change some things. So we're going to change the color from male. We're going to make it like a, a blue for the text, for the print string, just so it sticks out so we understand what's going on. Okay. And then we're going to hit OK. And then for the female, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to switch hers to like a pink color for the female. This is for, uh, I guess, gender or sex or whatnot. And then we're going to hit OK. Man, that looks kind of purple, but that's OK. Now, we can go ahead and minimize that, minimize that. And then for the white, we're going to leave that as the white color. For the black, we're going to change the wording for this up. Oh. Okay, and then for this, for the black, we're just going to move this down, and we're going to change this to black as well, okay? So we're just going to make it uh, a black uh, lettering for, for the black. And we can minimize that and put this back to where it was. Compile and save. Now, we're going to change a couple more uh, colors here. So for the ID, which is where this is connected, we're going to change this to, let's say, a purple. Okay? And um, actually, while we're here, let's open that back up. We're just going to do a Control-C, highlight that Control-C. We can hit OK. And we're going to make this one exactly the same as it. We can minimize these two as well. Now, for the age, we're going to change the age to, uh, let's make it a green. Why not? Make the age green. Or actually, you know what? No, let's make the age like a gray. Let's put in the white here. And we're going to make it gray. We'll make the age gray. And we're going to copy this uh, right here, do a control C, and hit OK. And we're going to do the same thing for the age up here. Control V, and then we're going to hit OK. So these are the same. We can minimize that, minimize that. And then for this one here, we're going to change the actual color of the name to green. So that way, when it displays, the character's name will be green. And actually, let me go back. We'll copy that. Do a Control-C. Hit OK. Same one for the bottom. Control-V. Hit OK. They're both green, and we can minimize and close those. And then we do a compile and a save. Okay, now it's time to go ahead and let's go ahead and test out our structures and see if we can see all of our information. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out. So if we hit the one key once, you're going to see that we have a black male uh, with his ID and his age and name in the upper left-hand corner. If we hit it again, we've got it back to the female, which is a white female with her ID, 22 years old, Jane Doe. And if we hit the two key, we're back to our normal, uh, our default mesh. So that's how you can use structures. And I hope this tutorial is very valuable to you. And check out this video that I'm posting here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.